Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. Welcome back, everybody, to GNR Exploration and Discovery. I'm Jared, the Jen and Jan R. Russian ships are expected to arrive in Cuba by the first of next week. And here's what to expect. A lot of people are saying, well, it's really nothing to worry about. They've did these test testing exercises before. But you have to understand, with all the tensions building in Ukraine... It is going to continue to get worse and worse, and Russia is getting tired of the United States, I'm sure, sticking their nose into their affairs and giving all those weapons to Ukraine. So, this is a test to see, and it's Russia testing its firepower and kind of flexing its muscles in front of you. It's not expected to go nuclear, but there is talk that it could. They could be testing some nuclear weapons just to show off and say, basically saying that this is what's going to happen if you don't back off. Putin has also said in the past and here recently that if NATO doesn't back off and if it gets to a point he's prepared to go full on and out with a bang and go full on nuclear. So... Everybody's saying that these exercises are nothing to worry about. There's a chance that's it. They've did these exercises before. However, with all the tension building again, this is something that a lot of people don't seem to understand. It is getting worse and worse, and tensions are rising on the world stage. Russia has already said that we are already in World War III. The U.S. Navy is supposed to oversee these exercises. Putin is saying that these exercises are nothing to worry about and that they're just whatever they are. Whatever he is saying that they are. Probably changing it every now and then. But the big thing to remember, he also said he wasn't going to invade Ukraine the day before he invaded Ukraine. So you've got to keep that in mind and you've got to be ready for anything that can happen. A lot of people are thinking, well... If we go nuclear, it's over. Well, that isn't the case because we dropped atomic bombs back in the day. And I say we, obviously, we weren't there and we weren't the ones that actually did it. But the atomic bombs were dropped on Japan. And when those bombs fell, there's people living in those cities now. Yes, there was radiation there. And you can make the argument that these weapons these days are way worse. Now, if everybody decides to use their nuclear weapons, then yeah, it's going to be very bad. But nobody really understands how, how the nuclear weapons work, unless you actually study any of these. It would take a lot of them going off at the same time to destroy the planet, so to speak. Now, the big thing is, a lot of people don't think about that we have our nuclear submarine fleet out in the oceans out there and Pacific and all kinds of things around that to aid in our defense. There's defense systems, air defense systems that we have in this country. And in testing, it's been 100% effective. But it's also being tested on one missile at a time or two missiles at a time. If that system gets overwhelmed, it can become like the Iron Dome over in Israel have about a 90% effectiveness rate. And if that happens, then some of those are going to get through. The other problem is, at the speed that a nuke would be launched, the wind currents would carry it so fast and so far, those targeting systems would have to be dead-on accurate, 100%. Because, you got to remember, with something tra traveling at that speed, you got to shoot trying to shoot it down you've got to shoot your missile if you try to shoot it here as it's coming by then it's gonna miss it completely so you've got to shoot it to where it's going to be 
So as it comes, it intercepts it. Again, this defense system has a, had 100% accuracy in test, dude. But they do not know what it would be like if you launched, like, do, let's say dozens of nukes against it at the same time. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Again, nobody wants World War III to happen, but it's staring us right in the face. And it's something, guys, at this point, it's going to happen. It's just the way it is. Now, how it's officially going to start, nobody knows. Again, you have Russia saying that we're already in World War III. You got them moving their ships into Cuba. Guys, in case you don't understand this, Cuba is not that far away from the United States. It's just right there. Just like Russia. Russia is not that far from the United States. You really don't understand this until you've looked at a map. And if you study that map, you will see what I'm saying is true. It is not that far from the United States. Cuba, there used to be people that swam from Cuba. So, really not that far, guys. Testing anything to worry about? It could be, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Take it one day at a time. But be prepared, guys. Now is the time to be prepared. Now is the time to be getting everything in line. Because, again, this war is not going to be able to be kept off of U.S. soil this time. I just don't think it's going to be able to. And unlike wars in the past, during World War II, we didn't get involved until the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. And then after we did, we had to get involved. But back then, the United States was not the superior power until after that war had ended. And that's when we became the superior power. So you've got to remember. And this is not the same United States. And this is not the same Soviet Union. Same Russia as it was during the Cold War. You've got to remember that. And... You've got to be prepared for anything that can happen, guys. Live day by day. Try not to panic. But live day by day and be prepared. Have extra food. Get into canning. Buy your food already canned. Stuff that won't go bad. If you don't know how to camp, find an elder person that will be happy to teach you. I can guarantee you that. Or most of them will be. Learn to grow your own food. Because, guys... They start start rationing food, or borders come to our shores, then the shipments stop, and you're not gonna be able to go to the grocery store to buy your food like you're used to now. Your hamburger, your steaks, your lettuce, your corn, your tomatoes, and everything else in between. Get prepared now. God bless each and every one of you. I'm Jared with Jordan Exploration and Discovery. Subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads.